snow and ATV two place trailer. It's the Xbox. Ramp door is a option. It comes standard with double doors and a pull out steel ramp underneath. And also self adjusted spring assist cable. Total overall height is 7 foot 11 inches to fit inside an 8 foot garage. Unfortunately, that's the only option you have. You can't go any higher than that. Are the LED lights standard on that? LED lights are standard on this unit here. LED lights are standard on everything car, or, uh, XL and above. This is the only tote or what we call expo that we're allowed to do anything with LED lights on. You have a flat top roof. This is the only trailer that we build with the hat bow studs because it needs to be a flat top roof on it to fit inside those garages. You have the drive over fender boxes to give you the lower ground clearance. This is a single axle with brakes. You also have the one fuel fuel door, both drive on drive off ramps, the extended tongue so you can be hooked to your vehicle and still drive off your unit. Also gives you one hell of a pivot point. You can pretty much do a U-turn wherever you're at. What's overall inside height? Overall inside height's five foot, five foot six. Five six. Which that's exactly where <laughs> I'm at. Come standard with the tie downs. Four tie downs in the trailer. If you need to add tie downs, you can. This is one trailer we do do a couple options for in the tote. Whether you don't do options on any on any expo, but this one here. You can add some E-Track, you can add D-Rings, you can add windows. The only thing we're not going to do is anything higher. We're going to leave it to... Uh, you can get a man door in it. We can get a man door. It'll be a short man door. You put a cam lock side door if you wanted to put a cam lock side door, which that's what I would recommend is a cam lock side door. If anything, it's just going to be an access point. It's not something you really going to want to sleep in without waking up. And you were saying... Uh, Hooks and stuff are okay, but yes. to put a cabinet, you got to be careful because it's because it's such a low trailer anyway. Yeah, in a cabinet, I would I wouldn't recommend a cabinet unless you know you're aware of it because it is such a short trailer. You can hit your head, do whatever. But like I said, it's solid tube side wall, so you can put pretty much anything to that wall. It's going to stay there. It's not going anywhere. Okay. 14 inch rubber. 14 inch rubber. No option of going 15, as you can see. Would be one. Uh, Hell of a time trying to get that off if you had a, a flat, but it gives us that ground clearance and uh, it's still a six by bias, so it's, it's more than enough tire for the trailer. Front doors do not have a spring assist. The door itself weighs 110 pounds, so you do got to be careful. Where that's higher, that's uh, or those are higher than a uh, open trailer. Your ramp angle's a lot less, though, isn't it? It is. It actually has been uh, one of the top sellers in 2010. Just introduced last year at the Puyallup Snow Show, and uh, this is your price point two-place ATV trailer. Can you put that uh, fold-out? Uh, tent thing on there? You could. You could actually put a pop-out tent on this trailer. It's got the length and the height for it. Um, you will be kind of low to the ground as far as the pop-out tent when it comes out. You won't have so much oh, clearance inside. on the floor. But I mean, you'll be sleeping, so I guess laying down is not going to be an option or a problem at all. You can actually put double pop-outs on this trailer if you want to. It does have the length. All right.